Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today, I am answering this request. BRT1759 asks for a moving particle-based star field tutorial, please. We can do that. So this tutorial was done by Majar Pictures way back in 2013, and it was done in HitFilm 2 Ultimate. HitFilm has had a lot of advances since then, and so it's actually a lot easier to do now than it was back then. I'm going to work in HitFilm Express 14, and I'm going to start by making a new composite shot. It can be your standard uh, 1920 by 1080. Click OK. And I'm going to start by making a new plane. And just to make it easier, I'm going to make it white, but you can actually make it um, black and then fill color it if you like. No sweat. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to add the atomic particles to it. And you'll notice right away that this is a purchase add-on, okay? Uh, if you click on the little green add-on button, then you will find it listed here. And it is under the Motion Audio Visual. It is $24.99 currently. Uh, and there it is, Atomic Particle. However, if you go to the Pay What You Want page, and you select the $39 VFX artist. Not only will you be donating almost $8 to a good cause, but you will be getting $185 worth of value. And part of that value will be in the fact that you will be getting the motion audio visual pack, including the atomic particles. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, if you want to be able to actually render this out, you will need to purchase that add on. OK, so now in Majar's tutorial from seven plus years ago, uh, they he had to actually build it from scratch. Now I can just double click on it and under preset. Oh, there's my star field. And it really is pretty much that simple. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new point and I'm going to make that point 3D. If it asks for a new camera, you'll say yes. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my floor planes. Uh, and then under the atomic particles, under the particle placement position, I'm going to say transform from the new point. So now if I were to actually move the new point around, say, for example, I moved in or I moved back or I moved up and down or I moved side to side, you can see the parallax and everything that's going on there. And I will reset that. Also, if I go to the camera and I move the camera in, for example, then you can see how it is moving forward and backwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and set a position keyframe here and go to the end and I'm going to move in some more. So now you can see that it is moving through the star field here this way. OK, that way I won't have to actually go back to that again. Back in the plane, there are some things that you can do to make this different or make it your own. Um, for example, uh, I might, um, under number of particles, this is set at 250 by 200 by 5. I usually like to go a little bit higher, about 300 by 300, maybe take this down just a smidgen. Okay, so, you know, now I have just a little bit different of a look to it. The other thing that I really like is the fractal, which has been completely turned off here in this version. But if I go ahead and take the speed down to zero, I can crank up the displacement strength and the dispersion strength. And I have a completely different looking star field as well. So you can see that there are a lot of things that you can change in this. Feel free to go through and mess around with the scales and with the dispersions and all of that kind of stuff. OK, now you can actually under particle appearance, set it to be shape instead of a sphere. You could set it up to a layer. For example, if I were to go back to media and make a new composite shot, let's make it only 100 by 100 and click OK. And let's say I go ahead and make a plane that is 100 by 100. Also, if in that plane I were to double click on the mask, a circular mask, and it makes it into a circular mask, opening this up uh, under shape, feather, I will go ahead and feather just to the inside. And then as I increase the feather strength, I can kind of create this feathered sphere shape. Back in the main composite, if I bring that in, you can see there it is. I'll go ahead and hide it. Uh, and now under the um, control panel of the 
Starfield plane under the particle appearance. If I were to source shape as layer and then source that composite shot, it will basically change all of those into that layer, which actually looks a little better, I think. Um, and by the way, you can change the color of that by using a fill color aspect. So I might say, for example, uh, fill color, and let's just fill that to be something, uh, you know, sort of salmon colored, for example, then everything's going to be salmon colored in here, right? You know, and that, and that may be the style that you're looking for. Maybe you want a blue tint, something like that. Um, also, I think that adding a glow effect to this uh, really looks nice. Um, so you might add a glow on there and then tweak that, maybe increase the intensity of that, take the threshold down, maybe drop the radius. So you can see that there's a little bit of a glow. And then if I were to duplicate that glow and maybe bring that radius up a bit, but take the threshold down. Now I have a second one, maybe duplicate it one more time, but this time, uh, you know, really crank the radius. So now I have this, um, triple glow effect where you can see that if I toggle that on and off, I'm sort of creating a nice, uh, look there. And then also maybe using an auto, um, lens flare. Uh, and if I open up the hotspot generations and crank up the max flares, um, and then I can up the intensity, maybe a little bit, take the scale down. Um, but mostly remove the threshold there a little bit, Ooh, maybe a little bit too much. Um, and now I have these sort of lens flares that are happening as they get closer to the, uh, to the camera. So those are sort of stylistic changes that you can do. Um, but basically the first thing I did, which is just set up that atomic particle and then use the preset and attach it to a 3d point is all you really needed to do to make this effect work. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, like it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's click the little bell icon for notifications. Definitely share this with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.